What's going on everyone and welcome to the Rabbit Money YouTube channel. Today we're taking another look at the KD Box Pro. Some of you have been asking in the recent downturn of the crypto markets, how has it been performing? Is it still profitable or is it, you know, obviously just not worth it? So this will probably be a fairly quick video. We're going to have a look at that. But first, can someone tell me which one of these is actually the KD Box Pro? Now there's two miners here, obviously you can see that one is the KD Box Pro and the other is a Mini Doge Pro. One being more profitable than the other, but the least profitable one is still more efficient than this AppMiner L3 Plus, which is why it's off. I still have my four gigabyte cards shut off, which we kind of talked about in some live streams and stuff. It's just not profitable at this point in time to be running those things. But right now we are looking at this. So who can tell me on the left, which one is that? And on the right, which one is that? Let me know in the comments below right now. All right, so now we're just gonna let you know. This one on the left, this guy right here, let me know if this is the one you chose. This is the KD Box Pro. And over here on the right, this is the Doge Mini Pro, or I guess the Mini Doge Pro. You know what I meant, you know what these miners are. But they look exactly the same. They both use about 230 to 232 watts, but one mines Cadena and the other one mines the script algorithm. Cadena is still looking like one of the most profitable algorithms to mine, and the only way to mine it is with an ASIC. So let's jump to the workstation and see how well this thing has been performing in the recent bear market all right so i'm over here at pool flare which is the pool i am personally using for mining myself some cadena scrolling on down here total paid so so far this miner i can't remember how long i've had it for now but it's paid out about 60.8 coins and we can see the past 24 hours is about 1.52 based on previous videos it looks like the difficulty on the coin is holding steady decently. Uh, I believe at first it was like 1.57 or 1.56. But you know, overall, we're at the 1.5 whatever type of range here. So things are looking you know, fairly stable, at least on the network for now. If you are looking to pick yourself up an ASIC miner, I do have links in the descriptions to Coin Mining Central or Casa Miners. Depending where you live, one might seem like a better option for you. I do want to point out Coin Mining Central. I also have a code, Rabid Mining 100 will grant an additional $100 off of your order. So 1.524 is what we've been mining the past 24 hours. We're going to jump into CoinGecko just to take a look at what that is. And that 1.524 equals $4.54. Now, for the Canadian friends out there, our money isn't worth as much, but crypto is worth more. We're going to take a look at this, and we're making $5.83. Again, it's about $0.55. Cents. You do have to take off this, depending where you live, at $0.10 cents per kilowatt hour per day, based on 230 watts. Looks like we're having a little crush right now. So let's just rewind and see where the bottom of this bear run has been so far, just to kind of dictate how much we actually were making at the very bottom. Now I expect crypto's probably gonna go down a little bit more before we see a massive gain, but you know, it's gonna hold steady with the odd spikes for in the meantime. But it looks like $1.44 is what the bottom here in the past 30 days. Let's just go to 90 to make sure. Yeah, that definitely looks like the bottom there. So $1.44 USD. So at the bottom so far, this thing has been still making about $2.19 per day. But we're never selling at the bottom. Maybe some do because they're scared and they want to get out. But overall, you know, I do expect a bull run to come into play by 2025 or so based on the previous history and the four-year cycles. So let's fast forward and what if we hit at least the all-time high of our previous bull run. So rewinding to November of 2021, when we did hit the peak on Cadena, it did come to $24.52. So if we hit any number close to that or higher, moving into the future, we are looking at $37.36 per day if you were to hodl and then, you know, sell when you see the spike incoming. So looking back, total, I got 60.8 Kadana. If I hodl, shut my miners off right now because my power shot to like $2 per kilowatt hour and I can't afford to mine whatsoever, killed everything and just hodled, 
Let's see how much I would have made. That's looking like about $1,490.81 if you want to get right down into it. So about almost 20 to 25% paid off in about three weeks worth of mining. Again, who knows what's going to happen to the network if anything does happen to the Kadena network, like uh, it forks to a new algorithm or the coin completely dies, then these ASICs would be useless. But I don't really see that happening. But again, it's always an option. You never know what could happen. So this is like three weeks of mining on this. So you could say in theory, in about as long as the difficulty doesn't spike too much, four months of mining could pay this thing off if we wait till the next bull run, then everything from there is straight up profit. If you're mining every day, you could probably pay this thing off, you know, five or six times over by the time 2025 hits so that's actually pretty crazy all right guys so there we have it there is the current bear run mining on the kd box pro we'll look at the mini doge pro sometime if you guys want in a future video but right now that thing was still making money even at the lowest point in the markets currently again i still think the markets are gonna dip quite a bit more and the low will probably hit around october or november Again, I have no idea. I'm not a crypto analyst. I just base everything on past charts, but that's kind of what I'm forecasting here. But again, 2025 is potentially when the next bull run will happen, and it's going to be absolutely massive. But in the end, everything remains the same. If you're a CPU miner, ASIC miner, you know, GPU miner, the power is your biggest expense. And overall, those things don't use very much power at all so you really need to you know the profits have really got to drop down quite a bit for them to be able to have to be shut off but at this point in time they're still looking very very good thank you for watching this video i will see you guys on the next one rob it out thank you for watching my video and if you haven't seen one of these be sure to check them out and if you already seen them maybe you missed some might have to watch it one more time and if you just let it play in the background that's all right as well. I do try to live stream every weekend as well as every couple days during the week. So be sure to be subscribed so you don't miss that. As always, have a great day.